countdown overlays. This is a bit next level. Again, we're keeping it right up the front here in with all the other overlays so you can see it and come back to it. This might just spark some ideas for you as to how you can do it. One of the first things I want to make with it is a little countdown timer that we can use. Now, we tend in the Academy to actually use a, a video that we pre-made and we show you in the Academy how to make that video. So we play a video, it's our intro. In fact, it's sitting up here, let me just show you. So that's a, a video clip that as it runs through, gets towards the end, it goes to the next scene and you're over to me. Another way that I do this, and uh, if I'm just doing a, a fairly quick impromptu live and I just wanna give a one minute countdown to let people see that uh, we're here and give them a chance to find us, this is a way to do it. And I've also found this really useful for Zoom calls as well. Yeah, so several ways. Let me uh, stop talking and jump in and actually start showing you. Probably makes sense. We're going to start with me in the background here. And uh, I'm going to call this countdown. Always a new scene. And uh, what I've got on here is I've got a 50% transparent image. So you can see it there. Uh, it's just a, a box that I've made over in Canva and selected orange in this case, Ecamm, and uh, I've set it to be 50% transparent opacity, and then I've saved it out as a PNG so it will see the transparency. And uh, now I've just put this over the front. So this is the first stage of it. So that's an image overlay that we've brought in. And uh, now we're gonna bring in a countdown overlay. Don't need a background for this one. Uh, we use this Super Boom, really fun font. Again, you can go off and find these fonts and um, as long as you download it to your computer, put it in your fonts folder, then uh, when you open a PCAM again, it will see it in here. So we set the size of this to whatever we want. Let's go nice and big actually. I'm not quite sure what that'll come in as. There we go. Um, I can line that up if I wanted center and center. I'm just gonna slightly underneath the center there. So I created a timer and the different ways that we can use countdowns, look at all the options here. I can count down for an amount of time. There are times when I go, right, we want to put a timer up for five minutes or we want to count down to the time every day or count down to a date and time. If I've got a webinar set or like the daily lives that we do into the Ecamm Academy, I can set this, so they're 5 p.m. in the UK. I could actually set the live to start four minutes before that. And what I can do in here is to say, I wanna set the countdown to five o'clock. So it's gonna give me, when I start this up four minutes early, it'll give me a four minute countdown. Does that make sense? And then uh, what I can do with this is when it gets to the time that I preset, I could say, go to the next scene when finished. And so when I put it up in front, then the next scene is just me here on camera. I know that it will automatically come through without me touching it. Now, I'm gonna have a go here at, for an amount of time as the demo. I think it's an easier one to show you. So we've got hours, minutes, and seconds. So if I set this initially for 10 minutes so that we can see what's going to happen, countdown for an amount of time, auto start, so we don't have to click to start it, and I hit save. So I need to put this in front of the scene that I want to come to afterwards. And um, what I'm then going to do is put a text box and it's already picked up the same text that I just did that in. And we can say starting in. So if I pop that up there and we've got a little countdown timer on here, now we can play with this. Let me just bring this down. So we'll now change this back to 15 seconds and go to next scene. So we start our live and uh, I can be sitting here muted behind the camera and um, waving if I want to. You don't have to do this. It could be complete and totally solid. But look, hands off. What's going to happen when it gets to zero over to the next scene? Do you see that? Very cool. All it wanted then was a bit of music to go with it. We'll talk about sound in other videos. But for now, why don't I just drop one on? So I need to open this. You need to pause it when you're editing it, else when that time runs out, it's just gonna keep kicking over to the next one. I'll tell you what we'll do. So this is this is kind of like a starting one. This is a way of doing a countdown timer if you want to. Another way that I really like this, and uh, we've had a go at this. If you're on a Zoom call, a lot of what we're doing now is on Zoom. 
And uh, maybe I post a question into people and I, I say, right, you know, what's your goals for 2023? Why don't you post it in here? I'm going to give you a few minutes um, for you just to work this out on your worksheet, something like that. So instead of this being a, a countdown and we're starting in, we're actually saying, have a pause, go and do something else and we'll be back in. Um, we've done this as well when we've done long lives, like a three hour long live and we want to be able to have a break. We could say back in and uh, same thing we can count this down and we can set this to be a like a five minute timer so we're saying we'll be back in this and then we can shoot off and pop back in and then we know that this time is going so it's several ways that you could use this not only in a Facebook Live or a webinar, but actually to be using this in, uh, you know, just a, a regular Zoom call. And it could just be up here as one of your assets that you go, right, actually, I'm just going to give you a few minutes to have a think about this. Um, so over to you and we'll come back. And then when that timer runs out, it comes back here. If I want to add music, I don't want to spend long on this because um, it's the title of another video, but I can literally just uh, get a music file. We use Upbeat, but there are so many different um, music stock sites that you can go to and we can just drag a sound file onto here it puts it into the sound effects tab down here but i can set this so that whenever i go to it it's now going to play this music file i can adjust the volume of it up there down here i can set it to loop if need be pause it because it's going to mess up with me talking over it but it's as easy as that to add an, an audio file to this you just got to make sure that it is definitely a copyright free one that uh, you're not going to get any strikes because you're playing somebody's music so it is worth a subscription to one of these music sites and as i say um, ClickUp is the one that we've found and uh, are enjoying at the minute so all of this is possible because we're using countdown overlays another way to use these overlays as a hidden overlay is maybe i've got um, this scene of me here but what I actually want to do is have me um, plus name. And then this one we're just going to call me. So on this top one here, I'm now going to introduce a text overlay. I wonder if I've still got the original one. Nope, I've tidied it all up. So text overlay, back to Metropolis. Because in Ecamm, when we create these text overlays can click it and tell it to come in we've got to click it again to tell it to go out uh, so what I can do over here is create a hidden timer that in effect is making this come on and off so if I add my name to the bottom of this way too big uh, I just want my name down the bottom here at the start. I'm going to take that off so you can see it. And in the next scene, it's exactly the same, except it doesn't have my name down the bottom. So a, a way to automatically send this over is for me to add a text overlay. And what I do on this one, so I'm going to set this one to start with uh, 15 seconds. And I'm going to say, go to next scene when finished. Now, to start with, you're going to see it there. And I would leave it big because you're going to want to come back and change this. If I pause it and now notice over here that on this text and if it isn't there, you click here to make it appear. There's an opacity slider that if I take that down, that text is now transparent or hidden. We need to save it. The overlay can't be found in the current scene. Okay, we'll create that. I think that's because I moved it. No, it isn't. I've just realized what's happened. <laughs> it was moving down and the 15 seconds finished before we got to the end. So it's now just created another one. We don't want one in that window. So we pause this and edit it. This is why it can be useful to just give yourself a bit longer while you're editing with it. So now it's transparent and it's two minutes and 15, but you can see that it's there. So although I can't see it, the box appears when I'm playing with it. Now I can take this down to 15 seconds. And what's going to happen? 
I start my live or we've come out of our countdown comes to me and I want my name to appear at the start here and what nobody else can see but we know is that there's a 15 second timer so check up here on the scenes because when that 15 seconds hits it's going to move me down to the next scene there it goes and my name's just disappeared so that's a really cool little feature that you can do by adding in it as a, a hidden text overlay I know of others that have used this to actually cut between cameras you can put them in a folder so that they loop around between them and it goes you know camera one here for five minutes or, or a minute and then camera two for five seconds and then keep looping that lots of clever little things that you can do maybe even the bullet points that you want to bring up you put that in the same way that I've done this you put your bullet point in there and you put a timer behind the scene so that it only shows that bullet point for five seconds and then moves down to the next one so lots of ways uh, who knew that you could do these kind of cool things it's just worked with countdown timers either to an event to a time I ought probably just to show you we can even just have the clock up you know maybe you want <laughs> and notice that my opacity is still set to zero so we're not seeing any text on here maybe I want to just be able to have a, a clock at the top we can do that maybe we want to start a stopwatch maybe you say to someone right okay you've got um, and that's a little bit fast with the seconds so we can turn off the milliseconds so again, maybe we come to this scene and, and we have another scene that says, right, okay, you've each got five minutes to introduce yourself or hot seat and you've got the little timer going at the top. This won't do anything when it gets to the end. It's, it's purely a clock or a timer that's running for you. Another way of doing that would be to go back to this one and um, you know we could minimize this and push it up into the corner and say, you've got five minutes. And when it gets to the end, it goes to a scene that says, Time's up. Lots of uses for this. Who knew you could do so many things with countdown overlays? Let us know in the comments, you know, any thoughts you've got on this, how, ways that you can use it, ways that you are using it. I'd love to keep in touch with you and find out about that. And as ever, we've got a whole playlist over here full of all these Ecamm videos. Do go and check them out and uh, let us know what you're getting up to. The next one we're gonna come to is using animated overlays. Uh, jump in, click there, and uh, I'll see you in that video.